Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to make any custom bow you want. So we're starting off with a bow that shoots TNT arrows, and then I'll show you how to make a bow that can shoot pretty much anything you want. As always, all of the commands I'm using are going to be in the description, so you can just copy and paste them. And let's get started. So starting off with our TNT bow, you're going to need a repeating command block and a chain command block, both of which you can get with slash give. Start off by putting down the repeating command block, and then six of the chain command blocks, like so, and you need to make sure that the arrows on the side of each chain command block is pointing towards the next. And also, go into the repeating command block at the start and change this needs redstone to always active. Next up, you're literally just going to take the set of seven commands from the description and paste them into this set of command blocks in order, starting with the repeating command block. Once you have those all pasted in, you're just going to take uh, the other command from the description, which I'm probably going to call like bow giving command or something, and you're going to just paste that into the chat to give yourself a special bow. With that bow, you can finally shoot TNT arrows. So, you know, not much to say about this. You can shoot an arrow wherever you want, and it will make TNT. It's also probably worth noting that this will also even work if you hit a monster. So if I shoot this pillager, I missed. If I shoot this pillager, <laughs> it will also explode the pillager. So with our TNT bow ready, uh, this is how you can customize it. Basically, there are three commands that are actually worth customizing. The other four just work towards setting up these commands. And these commands are the commands that the arrow runs in the air. So if right now, that's just a particle effect I set up. As you can see, it, it, it makes the little flame thing. There's the one which it lands in the ground. As you can see, that is TNT. Uh, it just summons TNT. And similarly, if it hits the target, it summons TNT. Now we can actually change all three of these to whatever we want and it will still work. So everything after the run here is completely customizable. So let's say instead of making that flame particle effect, I wanted it to make some diamond blocks. Uh, so I could change that to that and Wow, now we have a diamond bow. I mean, that's kind of useless. Really, the only useful thing to do there is a particle effect. But if you want something weird like this, that is an option. Similarly, when it lands, you can make it anything you want. So maybe I want it to summon, instead of TNT, I want it to summon a zombie. And then when it actually hits a target, let's say instead of summoning TNT, I want it to say, uh, ha, loser. So uh, I can shoot. Uh, makes a zombie, and if I shoot this pillager, it says, ha, loser, because that pillager is a loser. So yeah, literally any command you want will work there. So that's pretty simple for just one bow, but say you want to have multiple customized bows in one world. Well, then things get a little bit tricky. And when I say tricky, I just mean tedious. There's kind of just a bunch of numbers you're going to have to change in like every single command block. So it's sort of a pain and I'm sorry, but it kind of just has to be done. So let's just go ahead and go in order. Basically, there's in every command a bunch of places where there is a one. And that's because this is the first bow I have in the world. If I want there to be a second bow, I should make them all two. Or if it's the third bow, I want it to be three and four and so on. Um, but starting with uh, just going to 2, in our first command block, uh, way back here at the beginning, it will say HC bow tutorial colon 1B, change that to 2B, and then the very last bit of the command block, change this underscore 1 to an underscore 2. Second command block, only one place to change it, uh, that's pretty close here to the beginning, it will say tag equals HC bow tutorial 1, change that to HC bow tutorial 2. Similarly in this command block, uh, I think it's literally the same thing, change that HC bow tutorial 1 to a 2. 3, it's basically the same thing, there's an HC bow tutorial 1 target, just make it 2 target. Here, uh, in this fifth command block, you need to change this 1 target to a 2 target, and also earlier back uh, here, you need to change this bow tutorial 1 to a 2. Sixth is basically the same as fifth, you need to change this 1 to a 2, and this one back here to a two. And in the last command block, there is only one one, which needs to be changed to a two. When you're using the special command to give yourself the bow, as you might have guessed, you need to change this one B to a two B. Uh, and you know, this is not really gonna demonstrate anything, but just rest assured that if you have multiple bows, 
and they all have different numbers, it will work fine. And so that is how you can make any custom bow with vanilla Minecraft commands. Hopefully you guys can get some fun things going with this. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, maybe even consider subscribing if you want to see more kinds of command block videos. If you have any questions or problems, please leave me a comment and I will try my very best to help you. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.